In this video, I'm going to be going over how to build a website with Inos step by step from start to finish. I'll be showing you how to access professional pre-made WordPress website templates to make creating your website an easy process. I'll also be going over how to edit your WordPress website using one of the most popular drag and drop editors, Elementor Page Builder, so you can create a professional looking WordPress website on Inos via drag and drop. I'll also be providing you with an Inos discount so you can save some money on your Inos web hosting purchase. You'll get Inos for as low as $1 a month plus a free domain name. Let's get started with the Inos website tutorial going over how to build a website with Inos. The first thing you want to do to build a website with Inos is to click the link in the description below so you can be taken to Inos and so you can take advantage of the Inos discount getting you web hosting for as low as $1 a month plus a free domain name. The discount is automatically applied. A little disclosure, the link is an affiliate link, meaning I'll receive a commission from Inos at no extra cost to you. Plus you'll get an awesome Inos discount. Once you click the link in the description below, you'll be on the Inos web hosting page. Click the see plans button to be taken to the Inos plans. You'll see four different Inos plans you can choose from. The Essential, Starter, plus an Ultimate plan. You'll see you can get hosting for a lower price for the first 12 months. You'll get Inos hosting for as low as $4 a month with the Essential plan, $6 a month with the Starter plan, $1 a month with the Plus plan, and $10 a month with the Ultimate plan. The Essential Plan is a good plan if you're going to have one website or just starting out. The Essential Plan comes with one website. This plan comes with 10 gigabytes of storage, 10 databases, basic CPU and MEM resources, one email account, and a free domain name with an annual term. The Starter Plan is a good plan if you're going to have more than one website, as this plan allows unlimited websites. This plan comes with 100 gigabytes of storage, 50 databases, basic CPU and MEM resources, one email account, and a free domain name with an annual term. The plus plan is a good plan as it comes with unlimited websites, unlimited storage, unlimited databases, enhanced CPU and MEM resources for better site performance, one email account, and a free domain name with an annual term. The ultimate plan is a good plan as it comes with unlimited websites, unlimited storage, unlimited databases, maximum CPU and MEM resources for even better site performance over the other INOS plans, one email account, and a free domain name with an annual term. Click the add to cart button on the plan you'd like to select. For this tutorial, I'll select the plus plan. You'll now be on a page where you can select your domain name for your site. Type in a domain name you'd like to go with. Click the check button. It'll now say if your domain is available or not. If it's available, you'll see good news, your domain is available. You'll see it's free for the first year. Click the add to cart button. You'll now see domain guard. Domain Guard is an optional add-on you can add. Domain Guard provides protection to your domain by making some user actions locked so that hackers or third parties can't take over your domain and make changes to it. With Domain Guard, you can specify certain email addresses that can't make certain changes and settings to the domain name. Click the Continue button to proceed. You'll now be on a page where it'll give you the option to add any INOS add-ons to your web hosting purchase. These are completely optional and up to you whether you want any or not. The first add-on is List Local Essential. List Local Essential will share your business with the 25 most important directories. This add-on can save you time as it'll sync your business information with these directories instead of individually creating accounts for each directory and managing on its own. Next is HighDrive Basic. 
HiDrive Basic is cloud storage for your site that provides automatic backups anytime. It comes with 100 gigabytes of cloud storage and anywhere data access. The next add-on is Site Scan and Repair. Site Scan and Repair is powered by SiteLock and detects and automatically removes malware on your site for up to 500 web pages. It also comes with daily spam and blacklist monitoring and fully automated malware removal. Feel free to add any of these add-ons to your INOS purchase. Completely optional. Click the continue button. You'll now be on the INOS cart page. You'll see your INOS web hosting plan in the price. You'll see free private registration being selected. This comes free for the first year. I highly recommend keeping this selected. Free private registration protects your personal information showing in the public who is database so that spammers and telemarketers don't get a hold of your information to flood your email or phone with offers of their services. When you register a domain name, no matter what company you choose, the domain goes into the public who is database as domain names are regulated. With domain privacy, it'll show INS's default contact information instead of yours. Highly recommend private registration. Scroll down and you'll see the recommended add-ons. Ranking Coach Essential will provide you with step-by-step -step guides on improving your Google ranking. You'll see Manage WordPress. This provides you with a wide range of plugins and themes and INS will update your website automatically in the background. You'll now see the check out with PayPal button and the continue button. Click check out with PayPal if paying with PayPal. Click the continue button if paying another way. You'll now be on the new to INS page. I'm going to click continue to check out. You'll now be on the create a new account page. You want to input your billing information. Next, select the option for the domain registration information. Choose a password for your INS account. Click the continue to payment options. You'll now be where you want to input your payment information in. Once you are done, click the continue to order review button. You'll now be on the confirm and place your order page. Scroll down and accept the terms and conditions. The second option is optional and up to you whether you want to select it or not. Scroll down to the bottom of the page under the order now button and you'll see your personal phone pin showing. You can change the pin to something you'd like if you want. This will be used for contacting INS support to verify your identity. To complete your INS purchase, click the order now button. You've now successfully purchased INS. INS will now email you a receipt and information about your purchase. You'll now be directed to a thank you for your order page. It'll begin setting up your cPanel. Once it is done, click the get started button. You'll now be on a page where it says welcome to your new web project. You'll see WordPress. Click the start now button. You'll now be on the WordPress installation page. You want to input your site title name. Click the create website button. You'll now be on a page where you want to input the login information you want for your WordPress site and installation. Click the continue button to proceed. You'll now see manage WordPress in WordPress. I'm going to click continue with WordPress. The manage WordPress is a paid feature. Feel free to select it if you want it. You'll now want to select a domain for your WordPress installation. From the drop down, choose the domain and click the assign domain button. INS will now begin setting up your website. This won't take long. Once it is done, it'll say congratulations, your new website is online. Click the edit website button to go to the WordPress login page where you can log in to WordPress to begin creating your WordPress site. Before we go to WordPress, we want to make our site secure with a free SSL certificate provided by INS. You'll see the red padlock icon. 
click this. It will now bring you to the INS SSL certificates page. Before you can do this step, you want to make sure you verify your email address with your domain name via the email that was sent by INS. You have to complete that step before you can activate the free SSL certificate on your site. After you've done that, you'll see the SSL starter wizard option. This option is a free option. Click the activate now button. You'll now be on the set up SSL certificate page. If you click into the domain section, it'll pull up domains you have. I'll select my domain name, agree to the terms and conditions and click the set up SSL certificate button. It'll begin setting up your SSL certificate for your site. Once it is done, it'll say operation successfully completed. Click the OK button. Under status, you'll now see a check icon and if you hover over it, it will say your domain is secure. Click menu in the top left of the page. Select the websites and store option. You'll see the edit website button. Click the edit website button. You'll now be taken to the WordPress login page where you can log into WordPress to begin in creating your site. You'll see a welcome to WordPress by INS the first time you log in. INS can help you get started with WordPress. It'll guide you through picking a theme and choosing from suitable plugins for your WordPress site. If you want to proceed with that option, click the let's go button. Underneath, you can select I want to configure WordPress installation myself. I'm going to choose I want to configure WordPress installation myself. You'll now be in the WordPress dashboard. Before we get started with anything else in WordPress, we want to change our site from using HTTP to HTTPS so it is secure. You'll notice the site now shows not secure in the browser. From the WordPress dashboard, hover over the settings icon, click general. You'll see the WordPress address URL and WordPress site address URL. Change both from HTTP to HTTPS. Scroll down to the bottom and click save changes. You'll now be logged out of WordPress and taken to the login page. Just log back into WordPress. Hover over your site title name up at the top. Click view site. You'll see the site now shows secure. I'll hover over the site title name up at the top and click dashboard to be taken back to the WordPress dashboard. Now we want to pick out a theme to begin creating a site. To pick out a theme for your site, on the far left, you will see tabs. Find the appearance tab and hover over it. Click themes as this is where you can pick out a theme for your site. Next, click add new theme. You'll now see WordPress themes that you can choose from. There's thousands of free themes to choose from. Now I want to show you how to access free professionally designed WordPress themes and how to edit them easily with the drag and drop editor. Type in Astra in the search field. Click the install button. Once it is done installing, click the activate button. Once it is done activating the theme, you want to find the plugins tab in the side menu. Click add new. In the search field, type in starter templates. You want to click install on it. Then click activate. Hover over the appearance tab in the side menu. Click on starter templates. You now want to click the build your website button. Choose Elementor for the page builder. It'll now showcase a bunch of WordPress themes you can create your site with using drag and drop. You can type in the type of website you want to create to pull up templates based on that. 
you'll see a bunch of categories you can hover over and select to build your site. If you click a theme, it will show you what it will look like so you can preview it. Click the X button to go back to the themes page. Now let me walk you through the steps on how to choose your theme and build your site with the drag and drop editor, Elementor Page Builder. Select the theme you want. I'll choose this one. You can upload a logo if you'd like. You can do this at a later time, so if you don't have one now, no worries. Click the skip and continue button. You now want to choose the colors and font for your site. You can update these at a later time or change them whenever you'd like. Click the continue button. You'll now be on the tell us a little about yourself. You don't have to fill this out if you don't want to. Just make sure under advanced options, you have each one selected. Click the submit and build my website button. It'll begin building your website. Once it is done, you'll be on the congratulations page. Click the view your website button. It'll now take you to your website and what it looks like. Before we begin editing, we want to turn on some features in Elementor to make the editing process even easier and improve your site performance. Up at the top, you'll see your site title name. Hover over this and click Dashboard. Find the Elementor tab in the left side menu and hover over it. Click Settings. Click Features. Select Activate All. This will activate an easier editor for creating your site along with performance features to help your site load faster. Scroll down and click the Save Changes button. Now let's go over how to make edits to the WordPress theme and how to use the drag and drop editor to create your site. From the WordPress dashboard, hover over your site title name up at the top. Click Visit Site. To make edits to your site, Click the Edit with Elementor tab on the top of the page. It'll now bring you to the drag and drop editor where you can create your site quick and easy. To make edits to a part of the page, just click where you want to make edits and start making edits. I can change Create Your Website to My Demo Website. If you want to make edits to the background image, Right click on the section, click edit selection, click style, hover over the image and click the trash can icon if you want to remove the image. Click over the image and you can upload a photo to place here or click media library to upload images already uploaded in WordPress. I'll click the X button. If you click the plus icon at the top where it says add element, this is where you can get back to where you can drag stuff into the page. I'll scroll down a bit on the page. You can select what you want over on the left and drag it in wherever you'd like it. If you right click on an area, you can delete it if you don't want it. By right clicking, you can duplicate something if you need to duplicate it. You can drag something over to somewhere else on the page by selecting it and dragging it over to where you want it. I'll drag a text into the page. If you click to edit the text, you'll be able to make edits to the text like make it bold. You can link out a text to somewhere. If you click the settings icon, you can choose to have the link open in a new tab if you'd like. If you click toolbar toggle, it'll give you more options like changing the alignment of the text, changing the text color. You can undo and redo changes here. If you click style at the top, you can then make more changes to the text. If you click the pencil icon where you see typography, where you see family, from the drop down, you can select different fonts for the text. Where you see size, you can change the sizing of the text. 
Next, let's go over editing the button. I'm going to click into a button. You'll be able to change the name of the text. You can link the button out to where you'd like it. If you click the settings icon next to the link, you can choose to have the link open in a new tab and make it no follow if you'd like. You can change the alignment of the button, the sizing of the button, where you see icon, you can select to have an icon with the button. Where it says upload SVG, you can upload an icon. If you click icon library, you can view icons you can add to the button. You can change the positioning of the icon and more. If you click style, you can make changes to the font used and colors for the button. If you click hover, this is where you can make edits to the font and colors on the button hover. Scroll down to this section here. If you want to change an image of a section or add an image for a section, right click in the section. Click edit selection. Click style. You'll see the image if the image is there. This is where you can edit the image. Remove the image by clicking the trash can icon or adding an image if there isn't one there for the section. I'll choose image. I'll select an image I've already uploaded into WordPress. The image is now showing. If you want to add some color along with the image, click the background overlay section. Find the color tab. You can now change the color. Drag the opacity to the left or right to get the desired look you want. Next, scroll up to the section above this. If you want to change the background color of a section of the site, right click in the section. Click edit selection. Click style. Where you see background type, click classic. You'll see color under it. Click this and you can change the background color of the section. Next, let's cover adding a section to your site. If you hover over a section, you can click the plus icon and then click the plus icon showing again to add a new section to the page. I'll select this one. You can now drag in something over into the section. If you click the middle icon with the dots, you can then edit that section. If you click the X button, it'll completely remove the section from the page. If you click into a section, click the middle icon with the dots. You can drag it up or down to move that section to somewhere else on the page. Next, let's scroll down to the bottom of the page to the drag widget here section. If you click the starter templates icon, you can click blocks in the menu and then it'll give you lots more page design ideas you can choose from. Up at the top, you can select categories for blocks to show. I'll choose a block to add to the page. I'll click this one. And then I'll click the import button to import it to the page to then start adding your own content and editing it how you want it. Now I want to cover the contact us form to show you how this works. I'm going to click the plus icon in the drag widget section. I'm going to click a structure for the section. I'll choose this one. I'm just going to drag over the WP forms. You can select the form. If you want to make edits to the form, click edit the selected form. You can click the create a new form if you want to create a new form. I'm going to click edit the selected form. It's now going to bring up the builder for the contact us form. You can hover over an area to delete it or duplicate it. You can click an area and drag it to wherever you'd like it. If you want to add something, you can drag it over from the side. If you click field options, you can click on a part of the form and then make changes from the side. You can select to make this part of the form a required 
or not required part to fill out. If you click advanced, you can click the part of the form you want to change and you can select between the size of the form field for that area and then change if you want anything to show in the form field where they input their information. You can click preview to preview the form. Click save to save changes. When you are done, click the X button and you'll be taken back to the editor for the page. If you click settings, you'll be in the general section where you can edit things for the form. Spam protection allows you to toggle on spam protection options. Notifications is where you can put in the email the form info should be sent to and the from email address showing to the person who filled out the form. And the confirmations is where you can put in a confirmation message that shows to the person who filled out the form. I'm back on the editor for the page. Let's get to know the drag and drop editor Elementor better. You'll see publish in the top right. Click this when you want to publish changes you've made to your site. If you click the arrow, you can save the page as a draft or save the page as a template to then use as a template for another page you create. To view changes you've made to your site, click the eye icon and it'll show you a preview of your site. If you click the desktop icon, it'll show you what your changes look like on desktop devices. The tablet icon will show tablet devices and the mobile icon will show mobile devices. If you hover over the site settings icon and click it, you can change things like the colors of your entire site, fonts used, and more. If you click the element or menu icon and click history, and then click revisions, it'll list out all the revisions for your site that it has pre-saved. If you click one, it'll bring your site edits back to how they were at the time of that edit. If you click the element or menu icon and click manage website, it'll take you to the WordPress dashboard. If you want to make edits to a certain page on your site, you can click it in the menu and then click edit with Elementor. To go to the WordPress dashboard, hover over your site title name and click dashboard. If you hover over the pages tab, click add new to add a new page to your site. If you click all pages, it'll showcase all the pages on your site. If you hover over the media tab and click on library, it'll show you all the images you have uploaded in WordPress. If you click add new at the top, you can then upload or drag in an image into WordPress. If you hover over posts and click add new, you can create a new blog post for your site. If you click all posts, it'll pull up all the posts you have on your site. If you click the comments tab, you will see all the comments you have on your blog post. You can easily reply, mark it as spam or trash the comment. If you hover over the plugins tab and click add new, you can then search for or browse plugins to add to your site. Any feature or customization you might want on your site, more than likely there's a plugin for that. If you hover over the parents tab in the left side menu, click on menus. This is where you can edit the menu on your site. You can add new pages to the menu or drag a page to a different order. If you click the tiny arrow, you can change the name of it or completely delete it from the menu. If you want to create a completely new menu, you can click create a new menu. Now let me show you how to make edits to the footer area of your site, along with uploading a logo, a favicon, and other customizations. From the WordPress dashboard, if you hover over the appearance tab in the side menu and click customize, you'll be on the customize page. Click the footer builder. You can then click an area in the footer area where you see the pencil icon to start making edits to that section over on the left side. If you click the plus icon, 
You can then add whatever you'd like to the footer area in that section. If you click the design icon in the section of the footer you want to edit, you can then design things like the alignment, title, content, and link colors, title and content, font size, and more. You can click the X button to remove that area from the footer. If you click the pencil icon here on the left hand side, you can then choose how many columns you want your footer to be. You can then click the plus icon to add sections to that part of the footer. I'm going to click the back arrow twice. If you click site identity, you can then upload a logo and a favicon, which is the site icon for your site. Click select site icon to then upload your site icon, also known as the favicon for your site. If you click site title and logo settings, you can then change the logo to your own and make other customizations to the logo area for your site. You now know how to access pre-made professional templates, how to build a website with INS, and making edits to it using the drag and drop editor, Elementor Page Builder. That is my INS tutorial going over how to build a website with INS step by step. If you have any questions, give in touch in the comments as I'm here to help you with anything you need. Give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment letting us know if the tutorial was helpful or not as the comments help improve our tutorials. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more INS hosting tutorial videos.